guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I thought I would share with you some books that I currently have out from the library. So I have a stack here of books that I'm really excited about reading. Um, I love using my library. I have a few different videos planned for um, different sort of library content, so watch out for that on my channel. Uh, but yeah, I'm always making use of my library and I want to make even more use of it in 2020. So uh, let's dive into the books that I currently have out. So the first one that I have here is Finding My Voice by Nadia Hussein. My, Nadia Hussein won the Great British Bake Off, which is a baking show in the UK, um, I think a few years ago now. And this is the autobiography that she has recently come out with. I saw it in Waterstones a few weeks ago and I was tempted to buy it. And then I decided that I would order it from the library. Um, What's quite interesting about Nadia Hussein as well is that she um, did a BBC documentary um, about six months ago now where she was talking about her anxiety and how she deals with it and things like that. So I think this is going to be really interesting uh, from the point of view of, you know, her anxiety but also her upbringing um, and her love of cooking and baking. Um, I think this is going to be really good. Then I have here Where She Went by Gail Foreman. This is the second book. Um, it's the sequel to If I Stay. Um, I read If I Stay quite a few years ago now. Um, I owned it and then I unhauled it off of my shelf. And If I Stay was about a girl who um, was in the car with her family one sort of like icy December morning and she, her family had a car accident um, and the rest of her family died and she was the only one to survive the car accident and the book follows her in a coma um, where she's trying to decide whether she wants to live or not um, and this is the follow-up to that so um, yeah I don't really know anything about the follow-up I don't want to tell you anything about the follow-up because spoilers um, but yeah I it's a, a YA read um, a contemporary book we'll see what I think then I have here Do It Like a Woman by Caroline Criado Perez. I recently bought a book by this author called Invisible Women. I haven't hauled it yet on my channel. Uh, but in that book she basically talks about lots of data that she has found to do with the fact that, you know, women have less visibility, you know, in society, that sort of idea. And this was a, an earlier book that she had written. Um, so we've got Do It Like A Woman and Change The World. So this is on the back, doing anything like a woman it used to mean being a bit rubbish. No longer. Now as the women in this book prove, it means being brave, thinking differently, speaking out, standing up, taking a risk, fighting back, dreaming big and being that, uh, being more than a bit amazing. So this is going to be a book where she talks about different women in society and the sorts of things that, that they have done to promote themselves and you know, the incredible things that they've done as women. So that sounds fabulous. I've had quite a few non-fiction recommendations recently. And one of those is When the Dogs Don't Bark. And this is a forensic scientist search for the truth by Professor Angela Gallup. And I think I first heard about this book over at, on Eleanor's channel from Eleanor Reads Books. Um, but basically this is um, sort of a true crime book following a forensic scientist. Um, so this is all I know about it, um, but I think she talks about lots of different cases that she has uh, sort of dealt with over the years, um, and it sounds fascinating. But another children's book that I have here is The Bone Sparrow, and this is by Zana Fralian, or Fre Frelon. And um, this is an Australian uh, children's book. Um, I first heard about this over on um, Kirsty's channel. I can't remember what her channel was called, but she's no longer on BookTube. Um, but she, um, this was shortlisted for a, for an Australian sort of children's book prize and she read it as part of that and absolutely loved it. And I've had it on my wish list ever since. Um, so I thought I would pick it up. Um, and this says on the back that um, Subby is a refugee born in an immigration detention centre, life behind the fences, all he's ever known. Then he meets Jimmy, a scruffy, impatient girl from the other side of the fence. Um, this is one story, the story of millions. So this is presumably based on, you know, sort of true life events. 
Um, it sounds like it's going to be really poignant um, and I've heard some really good things about it. Another recommendation from Eleanor over at Eleanor Reads Books is Beneath the Surface and this is by John Hargrove. So the subtitle of this is Killer Whales, Sea Whales and the Truth Beyond Blackfish. Um, and she also recommended another one which I think it was called Death at Sea Word, and I also um, I can also get that one out from the library too. Um, and this follows um, John Hargrove, who was a, a former senior orca trainer in Sea World, and I've always been fascinated with the Sea World story. I've never been. I've been to Florida twice and avoided Sea World both of those times because I just haven't wanted um, to go and support something like that. Um, but I think it's going to be fascinating to read about sort of like the ins and outs of how a company like that is run um, and things like that. So yeah, fascinating. I have one here that I saw in Waterstones and um, wanted to buy and then thought I'd look it up in, and see if I could get it from the library and I could. And this is called Unicorn, the memoir of a Muslim drag queen by Amru Al Cardi. Um, and just the subtitle of this is what drew me in, a memoir of a Muslim drag queen. I mean, sold, it just <laughs> sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, and really, really interesting. Uh, yeah, another non-fiction book is Come As You Are, The Surprising New Science That Will Transform Your Sex Life by Emily Nagoski. Um, I can't remember where I read about this. Maybe on some sort of blog post or something like that. Or maybe it was on somebody's channel. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, this is, um, so this says on the back, Come As You Are reveals the true story behind female sh sexuality, uncovering the little known science of what makes us tick, and more importantly, how and why. Um, it's always really, really important to learn more about your body, so yeah, I'd give this one a go. A book that lots of been, people have been talking about on BookTube, um, especially since it's been non-fiction November, is Know My Name, and this is by, by Sh Chanel Miller. Um, and this, I believe, follows a woman who uh, was raped um, and disbelieved, I think. So yes, yeah, so she um, she was sexually assaulted while she was at college and the person who sexually assaulted her didn't get a particularly long prison sentence um, and it was a travesty, basically. So she wrote this letter um, to the... I think it was a sort of a public letter um, basically outlining what happened to her and her feelings on sort of the fact that her aggressor didn't get a particularly long sentence um, and the letter went viral and, and it changed laws in California and stuff like that and then this is um, Chanel Cleeson sort of like telling the story of what happened in obviously in a bit more detail here. Um, and the early buzz about this has been really, really good. So um, yeah, I was so glad to see that my library had a copy of this. Um, I think I'm one of the first people to read it. So yeah. Last two books here. This one is Please Look After Mother and this is by Kyung Suk Shin. Um, and this says on the back, um, Sono is a wife and mother to five grown up children. She's the one constant and often unacknowledged presence in all of their lives, supporting them no matter what the cost. Then one day, travelling into Seoul by train, Sunua vanishes. Whilst her family desperately search for her, they discover the desires and hopes she kept hidden. Through a series of revelations, the family members slowly paint a picture of Sonia as they never knew her and come to realise the truth about all mothers and children, that affection, exasperation, hope and guilt add up to love. So um, again, this is a recommendation from a, um, a booktube video that I watched at some point. Can't remember um, whose it was, but um, it just sounded really good. So I ordered a copy of that. And then the last one I have here is another non-fiction book and it is The Honey Bus, a memoir of loss, courage and a girl saved by bees by Mer Meredith May. Um, and I saw this again on a trip to Waterstones and I decided to get it from the library. Um, and this is basically telling the story of Meredith May when she was little and how um, she was abandoned by both of her parents and her grandparents uh, brought her up, I believe. Um, and um, her grandpa had this old bus, this old um, sort of like school, I think it was a school bus, uh, this old bus nonetheless where he kept his beehives and looked after them. And I think she sort of helps out in looking after them. So it's going to be about sort of beekeeping, but also about um, growing up, sort of like a coming of age 
um, type story and things like that um, and just the cover is really really beautiful I was drawn to that to begin with um, yeah and it has I mean just ignore the the uh, date thing on here but it has all really nice pictures on the inside pages so yeah I thought I would give that one a go to so there you go guys they are all of the books that I currently have out from the library um, I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments below have you read any of these what did you think of them um, and have you got anything out from the library recently if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.